selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera. Welcome to all uh, to this um, uh, conference uh, on the care economy. Uh, Inche Harris, uh, Prof. Norma, uh, wakil-wakil dari agensi kerajaan, academicians, um, researchers, uh, and, and all who are present today. Now, I, I thank ISIS for uh, asking me to help uh, coordinate this. Uh, and at that time when they asked, I thought we were the only ones going to look at care economy. But uh, then we realized everybody was discussing care economy, uh, especially the commentary and Wanita, Kloarga, uh, and community, and also other ministries. Uh, that have made a clear commitment uh, towards this. So I thank Professor Fai uh, for this opportunity to the ISIS team uh, working together with the uh, APPGM or more specifically our My SDG Center for Social Inclusion uh, led by uh, Dr. Suen uh, and her team uh, alongside with others who were part of the June roundtable discussion. So basically, we are taking the roundtable discussion founding um, as a foundation uh, to the discussions. So we had over 71 participants there. This uh, conference, some people would say, should be much bigger. But actually, we narrowed down uh, because the output is actually a publication. Academic come uh, policy, come um, easy reading on the topic, but to capture the um, uh, input, the analysis, the contribution of various stakeholders. And I will do a literature review afterwards uh, to capture that in that paper. So from the title of this conference, Growing the Economy, that means often those of us in the care sector, social work, community work, uh, always saw the caring of needy, vulnerable, uh, marginalized, forgotten communities uh, on one side. But the care economy dialogue and discussion has brought the theme of growing the economy, that it's an industry and that it can be self-financing, it can be job creation, uh, and it can be very professional uh, in its qualification and task. And it would address uh, some stereotypes. And I, I will jokingly, uh, not jokingly, I think it's quite serious, uh, look at the gender dimension and we can explore from the reading uh, the models that are there and which model we fall under. Um, and we might think that the model that we grew in is the best model, uh, but it might not be in the context of uh, the gender roles that we are seeing. Now, there are eight papers Professor Fais highlighted. Uh, the description of the papers are here. We actually have one more paper the writer and his team could not come, but we wanted to expand the theme of disability from PDKs to a much broader understanding of disability, where elderly care for the disabled person, early childhood intervention, all this come also in the context. And that though Dr. Amar Singh from EPO and his team will write the paper. Maybe we might just have a special discussion. Um, he is more keen to use online methods rather than face-to-face. -face. So we might have a discussion on his paper at a later stage. Now, in preparing for this, drawing from the roundtable discussion, we actually identified four thematic areas which are papers presented. The first two and the last two are thematic areas. And there are four target group uh, themes. 
uh, target group often on the care economy is only on elderly, disability, children and young people, and within that uh, gender. But we brought in, like the round table, mental health issues, uh, which likewise are major concerns uh, in the community, something which is neglected, but uh, very important uh, coming in. But the thematic areas review, uh, looking at the key materials, I'll highlight some points, and we have Prof. Norma and people from the Kermantrian uh, to look at it, federal-state relations in the delivery of services, uh, professional sector and training in that context, and finally, growing the economy. Can the sector be an economic um, viability rather than a cost factor for government? Yeah? So that's it. And outcome is very clear. My mandate is by a certain date to have a buku that is Sidiya Khan, uh, that is peer reviewed. I think got so many levels of editing. ISIS got dominion standards. Then we have the discussants who are primarily going to give input uh, to improving the quality of the paper. This is um, slightly different from journal. I know Prof. Rashila is here as well. Journals, you get peer reviewed and all that. Here, we find easier when we talk together, people uh, suggest and and do it and then we meet the deadlines for a publication i think isis wants this as a comprehensive discussion on this theme that can be input to government and the position of isis the position of professor Fais to influence public policy and government decision can be quite strong so as a result we are hoping uh, that this will have a direct effect uh, on the ministries like Ministry for Women and uh, Family and Community Development, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Human Resources, Ministry of Higher Education, uh, and that will have an impact in a positive way. So those are just some introductory thoughts. We are together locked in this beautiful a meeting place. I like the way this was renovated and you got greens all around. So it looks like you are in a kampong, but actually you are in KL. Um, and you are not in a hotel where all are brick walls around you. So it's to give you that um, uh, feeling that we, you know, because um, we are all kampong people actually, but living in the brick brick world of KL. So I hope that will stimulate our discussion, interaction. If you don't get a chance to ask a question or a comment, please write it. I think uh, Debbie uh, and others who are repertoires uh, can take down uh, these points uh, in order to improve the quality and depth. Okay, with those thoughts, thank you very much and have a good time together. Thank you.